you definitely feel the energy. And it's, it's a weird feeling. You know, you've, you've dreamt about what you visualised and, so, and then you actually walk out there and, you know, the closer you get to the ring, it's like nobody's beating me tonight. My name's Dalton Smith and on Saturday night, I go from prospect to contender. It takes a lot, but uh, it's always that heart that's going to keep you up. And I know I have it and I know I could go through it. I've been through hell and back. I'm Jose Cepeda, and I'm a three-time world title challenger. I think it was only, you know, I think it was a couple of weeks ago, I was actually sat there and somebody sent me a picture of, you know, the, the, my face up on the billboard going through the town centre. And I didn't actually know they was up. You know, it was actually a pinch me moment where it's like, it takes you back and you realise how far you've come. You know, obviously time goes so fast, you don't realise what you're doing, what you're achieving. But it just reminds you, you know, things like that don't go unnoticed. You know, you've got to remind yourself, this is what we do it for. And, and, and the hard work and sacrifice is paying off. Yeah, as a kid, everyone's dreaming. With the World Championship belt, everybody's screaming your name out loud in the crowd. And being in big fights, I think I done it. I won fight of the year. I done a couple accomplishments and I'm, and I'm just happy with, with what I done. Everybody has a dream and many of us, maybe we can accomplish it, but you gotta be happy with what you do. You gotta enjoy the process to wherever you're going. What does home mean to me? You know, home is where I've been brought up, where I've learned my trade, been educated, learned who I am as a person. You know, for me, that Sheffield, I don't allow my ego to get too big. You know, the, the position I'm in now is by the per person I've always been, and that's by having the same people around with the same team. For me, headlining here again in England, it's a big opportunity for me in the boxing. Um, I done it in 2017. I was here uh, against Terry Flanagan for a world title and now against Delton. And it's a big opportunity for me. I'm looking forward to it and, and I'm ready. Who is Jose Zapita? Jose for me is a fighter I respect. I respect what he's done in the sport. You know, he's proven himself at world level, but he's also a man, you know, I can't see beating him. You know, he's been in my position before. I'm building my own legacy and, you know, I'm confident and nothing's gonna stop me. I believe he's moving up too fast. It happened before in my career uh, against uh, Josue Vargas. It, it already happened. Um, he believes in himself, which is not bad, but uh, like I say, boxing, it's a rough sport. It's a dangerous sport, and you gotta be able to work little by little. They are jumping too high. I don't think, I don't think I've seen Delton in the top 10 in the, in the WBC or in, in, in any organization. I love it when people doubt me. You know, because word, words are just words. And what? And sometimes it gives me a little smile inside because I like it. I like people to say things like that. Because they, they, they don't know what's inside me. They don't know what I've got when I step through those ropes. And, you know, once I get through those ropes and I'm staring him deep, like straight in the eye, He's gonna know I'm not messing around. I could tell you that I trained my hardest for this fight. Uh, probably one of the hardest camps that I did because I'm seeking for that fourth opportunity for the world title. If I don't win this fight, trust me, I'm, I'm gonna give all my props to Delton because he is getting the best version of Jose Zapeda in this Saturday night. I'm really calm regardless if, if I was or, or not retiring after this. I'm just calm because I've done this 43 times. It's, it's just another job, another day at the office for me. Jose is appear to saying he'll retire if he doesn't beat me. He already knows in his mind if he loses his fight, his career's over. So he's already planned that. And for me, that, that's a negative thought to have. You know, he should be going there for, with full, full confidence, like, I'm not gonna lose. So, so he's already got that doubt in his mind, look, if I lose this fight, I'm gonna retire. It, definitely an exciting fight. I, I was telling my trainer, my brother, when I, I saw him a little bit in, in, in boxing fights, he, he pretty much fights like the same way I fight. 
Uh, he's explosive. He throws the jab right uh, right away. Uh, he likes to get in there. So we, we are pretty similar in styles, except that I'm a southpaw. Look, when you're in that ring with eight ounce gloves, anyone who lands a clean punch, it's gonna hurt somebody. But like you say, he's, he's not been in there with me. I've not been in there with him before in the ring. As soon as we get in there, the first minute when we throw a punch, he's gonna see it. And I could tell you that because I was able to see that when I first stepped up and, and got in there with one of the uh, top 10 fighters. It was a whole different game. I need to do it in, in, a, in a spectacular way. And one, I'm confident in doing so. And it's gonna be in, under the lights in my hometown. And like I said, with my army behind me, Jose ain't beating me. He has heart. I, I do believe he has heart. I have heart. You've seen, you've seen me in the fights of the year. So I truly believe this is gonna end up in a knockout. I believe he's not gonna keep up with the pressure. And I do see myself with the WBC silver again. What Jose stands in the way of for me is me achieving greatness, achieving my dreams. You know, headlining Hillsborough, becoming a world champion. And Jose, I respect you, but happy retirement.